Hello. This is the first of about three or four videos that I'm going to come out with that is going to follow the process of me designing and building a wood-fired hot tub that is also a bicycle trailer. Uh, this is something I came up with about a year ago and I've been really excited about it since then, but I finally have the room in the shop space and the skills to make it happen. So. This first video is just going to kind of go through the design I'm coming up with and just convey my vision to you guys and then from there the next three videos is going to kind of go through the build, I'll tell you guys my budget, I'll show you the testing, how long it takes the water to heat up, how fast I can actually bike with this thing on the back of it. If you enjoy this video or you're excited to see this project unfold, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so I'm not very good at sketching but I'll do my best to show my vision for using the hot tub. I'd like to bike it to the ocean at high tide, fill it up, start a fire, and enjoy the day. The tub will really only fit two people comfortably, but boy will they ever be comfortable. As you can see, the wheels will come off once I arrive at the beach, so the axle doesn't have to support the weight of the water while we're sitting in it, only when it's dry and traveling. The stove will be placed in the tub while traveling to reduce the footprint behind the bike. This is the iron steed that will be pulling the hot tub along the bike paths. It's a road bike from the early 80s that I've had since high school and she'll be pushed to the limits with this task. I decided to situate the axle in the middle of the tub so that the weight will be supported by the wheels and not the bike. I will attach the wheels with a quick release system so they're easy to put on and take off. The walls of the hot tub will be made with cedar and the floor of the tub will be made with marine grade plywood. Once it's together, I'll coat it with a generous lather of epoxy to seal all leaks and make it easy to clean in between uses. Now that I've done the sketches and seen the design, I need to decide on dimensions for the tub. I want it to seat me and my girlfriend comfortably, but every inch or two I add will really increase the time it takes to heat up. So this tub is about two feet wide, which is, I think, more than enough room. But it's only one foot deep. So I think I'd actually like it to be about water level here, so that's 18. Probably don't want to fill it all the way up, so about 20 inches deep once uh, once it's built. Four and a half feet in length, so I think five feet would probably do the trick. Just six more inches would be would be enough. So 20 inches deep, 24 inches wide, uh, 60 inches long. Now that I've decided on the dimensions, I can make this in my 3D modeling software. This way I can see a scale model of it and I'll be able to pull dimensions off of it once I start building. As you can see, there will be cedar supports on the bottom. This will be necessary to mount the axle and support the floor. It will also raise the tub off of the cold sand to cut down on the conductive heat loss. These wheels will be removed once I'm ready to tub. I'll take the stove out of the tub and fit the copper tubes into compression fittings that penetrate the wall. This tube will coil upwards through the inside of the stove. I'll try it without a pump because the convective currents will drive the hot water up and out of the top of the coil, creating a steady flow, or as I'm hoping. Now, time to render this thing into a salt flat. As you can see, this project requires a lot of hardware that I will not be manufacturing, so I'd like to say thank you to Princess Auto, a Canadian company who agreed to sponsor this video series and give me a discount on parts such as wheels, copper tubing, the wood burning stove, and all the other copper fittings I need. So thanks, Princess Otto. If you have any ideas for this project, please leave me a comment. And that wraps up the intro to this video series. The next video will be the construction of the tub, and it'll be out in a few weeks. Thanks for watching.